No, are you down? Are you down? Yeah, you all the way down. Every time, every time, every time, every time. Am I down? Am I down? Yeah, I'm all the way down. Hey guys, what up? It is YG Yote bringing you Yote to Commander, the new series that I promised in my last video, as you guys know. And um, basically, what it is is where I go from level eight to level fifty and Spec Op Survival on Modern Warfare Three. And every episode, I will, um, you know, I will, I will maybe tell a story. I might talk about something. Just depends on what is going through my mind at the period that I do this, and I guess you know it just depends what's going on through my mind and what you know is happening through the day. So, um, one note: I am gonna do uh, other games. I still can't do Skyrim, but I will be doing Minecraft. That like that Let's Play is surely gonna be the thing I'm gonna do. It's the one thing I'm gonna look forward to mostly doing besides this, which. A lot of my friends from school have said they want to see this, and they're going to enjoy seeing it. So I, I'm bringing this to you. At first, I was kind of skeptical of doing this, but I'm going to bring it to you guys anyway. So basically, if I do crappy, I'm very sorry this first match. I have already recorded once. The game volume was too loud. That was really sucky for me because you guys could barely hear me. So I am redoing this. This is my third try of doing this, so... I do apologize. Next time it'll be the first try because I'm going to keep my audio settings on this game for this. Down. I'm doing the bare minimum. I can barely hear my game right now. If it wasn't for my loud speakers on my computer, I would not be able to um, hear it. Anyway, you, uh, a couple of my friends from school and a couple of you guys have been asking what kind of computer do I use. And it is an HP M F Envy. Envy M6 with Beats Audio. Yes. The beats, Atio, I know, yes, for rich people. And no, I am not rich. <laughs> I am not one of them preppy jocks that have beats around their neck. I used to have beats. I used to have the studios, they're real nice. I'm actually gonna get myself a new pair here maybe in a month or two because I'll have some income coming in for my first paycheck. Because I'm just got a job, so um I'll be buying myself a new pair and they they you know they remade them, they made them look so much nicer. And I'll bet you try it on a pair from a store. They they feel so much more comfortable than the originals that I had a while back. So I want to get them because I uh, I really miss them having them in my uh, you know my arsenal of stuff. I might what I'm actually going to use them for is I'm actually going to use them for is um editing and the music. It's you know just the music at school because at my school you can have your cell phones out during lunch in the morning and during the hallways between classes. And we have two 10 minute breaks a day, morning and afternoon. So I'll have them for school to listen to music and then editing stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna tell a little bit of a little bit of a story um, during this and I it's really a close you know, something really close to my life and I I really am kinda skeptical of telling this story, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. So anyway, last year and uh, you know it was my sophomore year of high school uh, that's right, guys. In my first video, I told you I was a senior. Turns out, I, I was completely wrong. I am a junior. So last year, I kind of just goofed up in that. But anyway, last year was my sophomore year of high school. And I was, you know, living it up. And I kind of was a little bit rebellious. You know, we're all rebellious at a certain age. Except for mine was last year. <laughs> so I just got through that. Anyway, I got so rebellious that my mother uh, filed these papers on me called Beyond Parental Control. And basically, she signed those, and I went to go see someone at the courthouse in my town that was through the government and everything, and I would have to go check up on him and check up with him every so many months, and I had to do all this paperwork stuff, kind of like work, kind of like book work and little projects that I had to do, and so I was going through a tough time in my life, and when I was going through this tough time, I needed the stru I needed structure. I needed structure really bad. You know, my parents are divorced. I didn't have a father in my life. You know, that lived with me every every day. So um, I didn't have a father figure to kind of you know be there for me and kind of give me tell me what's wrong, what's not wrong, and everything. And kind of give me a little bit of uh, crap, 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 crap. Give me you know some structure in my life and. 
It's because my parents are divorced. If you guys didn't know that, my parents are divorced. My dad lives in a town that's two hours away from where I live, and I go to his house every other weekend. Anyway, I didn't have a father in my life. You know, technically, I didn't have a father in my life because my dad lived two hours away. I only got to see him every other weekend. Anyway, about the time that this was going on, there's an announcement over the intercom at my school before fifth period, I think it was, because there's a break. They called off saying, oh, we're having our ROTC program. If you're interested, please come to the guidance office and sign up for it. So, not me. I'm really interested in the military. Uh, I went and signed up. And I've already been in the program before when I was living with my dad. The school I went to had it, and I really enjoyed it. But it was a little different because it was a full program instead of a half, well, technically a pilot, was it? But it was last year, so. Come on. Anyway, it was a, it's a pilot. This It was a pilot last year, so we didn't have anything like a full program have. We won't have that until my senior year of high school, which really sucks. Anyway, it was a pilot program. So, we didn't have all the stuff and the resources that an actual program would have. So, it kind of sucked at times, and at times it didn't suck. Um, so, our teacher, uh, who happens to also be the football coach at my high school, so he volunteered to be the teacher. I think he volunteered. I'm not really for sure if he did or not. But he volunteered to be the teacher. I'm thinking he volunteered, so I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> Let's just go with that. He volunteered to be the teacher. Anyway, what he did for this program is he had no military background, never been in the military, anything at all, never been a mil you know, military man, never been to Iraq, Afghanistan, he's never been in the service basically. So what he did was he went to surrounding school systems that had a JROTC program and talked to the teachers there and kind of got some pointers of how to leave the class and basically got information about the class, he got the program that we use to you know, do our lessons every, I think it's Tuesday and Thursday in our class. So he got that program. And then he got, then he went and to the college in my town and got cadets from the ROTC program up on our, on our college campus to come down every Friday and help out with our, P, doing a, our Friday PT and kind of teaching us a little bit about the ROTC and other stuff that the, you know, they do on, up on campus. So, he did all that, and then another thing he did was, he really went on his way here, is he went and got us to be able to go on this ropes course, course type thing up at the wellness center, or, you know, kind of workout place up on campus at our, co at our college here. So he got us to be able to do that. Sadly, I was not able to go because I was sick that day. Um, I don't know how I was sick. It was in the middle of spring. I think it was my allergies just acting up. I was really not for sure. There we go. Got that guy. But anyway, I think it was my allergies. I'm not really for sure. I'm not going to really try to remember what caused me from going. So anyway, we went. My, my friends went to the ropes course thing, and they a lot of them enjoyed it. I'm gonna be able to go this year if we do it. So I'm gonna enjoy that this year. But anyway, I'm gonna talk about the class, and I want to say this. During this time of my life, I was not doing so well. I was on the verge of going to juvenile hall, like I said, and and I kind of I want to thank my teacher and the program and my school for having this program. You know, I want to thank the school for having this program, but I mostly want to thank my teacher and my friends in that class. You know, he says we're like a family, and if it wasn't for my friends supporting me. And me supporting my friends and, you know, my teacher, I call him coach, so I'm just going to call him coach in this. Um, but if it wasn't for coach, I wouldn't be here today. Straight up. I would not be here today if it was not for him and his leadership in our program. I would not be here making YouTube videos. I would not be here playing Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3 on the PC. I would not be where I am today if it was not for him. I would be sitting in a, you know... A room, you know, basically, uh, and sitting on a metal slab as a bed or something like that. I guess that's what they sleep on in juvenile hall here in my in my state. But anyway, if it was not for him and the constant support 
and praise of my peers, you know, basically my family in that class, I would not be here today. And I really, really would love, you know, I, I love them to death. You know, they're like my family. He says we're a family, so there's nothing wrong with family love. Um, it may sound gay, but I don't care because they're my family. You know, he's like he said, we're a family and they are my family, you know. Like I said, if it was not for them, I wouldn't be here today. And I really don't take anything for granted in that class. I don't take anything for granted ever. You know, I really don't take anything for granted anymore in my life after this program. And I really, really thank Coach for, you know, helping me and everything and helping us, other students in the class, for what he has done to make this an awesome period class. I enjoy the class. I look forward to class every day. You know, if it was, like I said, if it was not for him, I would not be here. And I know I'm kind of just babbling on, but I really can't express, you know, my thanks and the others, you know, the other students' thanks for what he has done for us. And I really, really thank him for that, you know. If he's watching, you know, he knows who he is and, you know, you, you've really helped me out, you know, Coach. You've really helped me out in all this stuff. And I just want to kind of thank Coach for what he's done for me and especially for all of us, you know, basically a family. We're a family. I want to thank him for this, for what he's done. You know, like I said, if it was not for him in the program, I would not be here today. So I got to really, I, you know, I really, really thank Coach for what he's done. And... I just really, really thank him. So, anyway, I, that's kind of the end of the story. After that, I kind of just, you know, it's been a better year and a better start to my junior year of high school. So, I'm really happy now. I don't have any problems with my mom. don't have any problems at school. I'm a cool, chill kid. You know, I don't have any problems anymore. I'm not, you know, at one time in my life I was suicidal and all that stuff. But I, I'm over that now because of the constant moral support of my friends and you know, my squad mates, and then the teacher that he, you know, all the stuff that he did for us, you know, if it wasn't for him and the other ones, all my friends, I, like I said, I would not be here today. I'd be in juvenile hall. So, anyway, guys, I kind of want to wrap this up. This, uh, this is the first episode of Yoke to Commander, and, you know, it's just, it's the new series I'm bringing out. So, and every episode, like I said, will be, like, maybe a topic, or it might just be a, um, you know, it just might be a, a little story I want to tell you guys. So, this is YG Yote signing out. Are you down? Are you down? Yeah, you are.